After introduction, always use layman term and what are you going to do? Very simplified language. Now, sensory examination, you can just say, I'm going to check the sensations of your body. Very simple, right? People know what is a sensory examination anyway. Now, first thing, uh, in sensory examination, you have to check superficial sensation, okay, central sensation, which I call somatosensory cortex area, you have to check, and spatial maneuver, which is rhombus. So first we'll start with superficial sensation. Now there are two tracts in the spinal cord which are responsible for carrying out information from peripheral to all the way to our somatosensory cortex, right? What are those two? Uh, the, mainly two spinal, there is a spinal thalamic tract and dorsal column. So first we are going to check spinal thalamic tract functions of pain and temperature, right? All right. So you tell patient, make sure whenever you open this, don't, you know, uh, you don't get contaminated, okay, or don't poke per person, you know, with the blur, you might get hepatitis C if you have it, okay. All right, so you tell patient, can you keep your, um, keep your hands at the side, always start with the hand, then face, last leg, okay. So first I'm going to, check. I'm going to put this in your, you I'm going to go lower. Can you feel this? Yeah. How does it feel? Good. Good? Yeah. Does it feel light or uh, no, more sharp? Sharp. Sharp. You always first let them speak. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you go with, does it feel sharp? They'll say yes. Whatever you want to hear, you know, they will say yes, I, it feels sharp. So it should come out from the patient's mouth, okay, how does it feel? How does it feel? Sure. Here? Sure. Make sure they both are symmetric, I would say. Yes. Now he has a beard, this can still go there, right? Can you feel here? Yeah. Can you feel here? Yeah. Are both same? Yes. Here and here? Here and here. Here and here. All right, so this is pain. Now temperature, if you want to do it now, um, this you could use, hammer. Clean all, all the, you know, um, equipment before you not me. Okay. <laughs> All right. So clean this. This create a cold temperature. So okay. You can also clean at the same time all this equipment. This is we call monofilament. We are going to check, you know, for sensation. All right. Now first thing, can you keep your both hands to the side? Can you feel this? How does it feel? Cold. How about here? Say cold. Okay. Here. Here, same. Here and here, both same. But here and here. Yes, same. And here and here. Yes, same. Okay. So, spinal thalamic is over. Now, dorsal column, when we check, we are going to check the light touch, okay, with this monofilament. Make sure you don't, you don't get, do not rub it. You have to bend it, okay, for light touch. For example, can you feel this? How does it feel? Pointy. Okay. Is it uh, sharper than the roller that we did? Yeah. Okay, so it means it compared to that is light touch. Can you feel it here? Yeah. Okay. Both same? Mm -hmm. Same here and here. Here and here. Here and here. Yeah. You have to bend it a little bit, okay? Mm -hmm. and here and here. Same? Yeah. Right. Now you have socks, and actually you always yeah. make, yeah. make sure that it is exposed. Next thing we are going to check is the vibration. So that is this uh, tuning fork we call Rydal Schaefer, a fork. The good thing about this fork is that is there are numbers given, okay? And these numbers, when you vibrate, that black point is generally you know, slowly going up. What we are checking, when we put on persons any bony eminence, when they stop feeling vibration, you have to check the number, the black point where it goes. Okay. Now, normally is seven above, okay? I'll, I'll ask patient, can you, can I have your thumb? You always, can you feel it? Let me know when it goes away. Sure, the 
here you have to put up the lateral malleolus okay. and you say let me know where it goes away This side is also eight. But make sure you always check. Now, vibration is the first. Vibration, in certain condition, you see vibration is the first to lose. For example, diabetics neuropathy. Diabetic neuropathy is the first, you know, sensation to lose is your vibration. So whenever it is below, you know, 6.5, you know, we generally consider okay, the low vibrations. And any any sensory loss which is stuck, uh, we call uh, gloves and stocks. Okay, um, those kind of sensory loss fashion when you lose, it is a sanding. So in case if you don't feel it here, you go above until you feel. So that way you can map, you know, sensory area, which areas, you know, how far it has gone. That is true if there is a vitamin B12 deficiency, syphilis, okay, or if you have fried rich ataxia, okay, the dorsal column whenever it is affected can have a vibratory loss but in diabetes first sensory loss is vibration okay now next thing we are going to check is the position sense okay so I'll have patient can I can I have your finger mm -hmm. okay don't don't pick a middle finger that's only if you're checking Hoffman reflux okay so when I check the positions I, I have to make sure that I'm touching from the side okay. if I do it this way then patient will know because I'm, I'm giving a pressure up and down right so i'll tell patient can you close your eyes okay you have to tell me if i move your finger up or down okay okay i'll hold it from the side down up down up okay down, up, okay. same this side okay you check close your eyes down down up down okay good we don't check lower extremity anyway position sense when we do wrong work you're anyway checking you know it was a it was a call all right now next thing we are going to check superficial senses in its own so next thing we are going to check is somatosensory cortex so i'll have patient can you close your eyes i'm going to write something in your palm it could be alphabet or number okay you have to tell me what did i write okay oh So it means someone sensory cortex one. Lastly, we are going to do a special maneuver. Can I have you stand here for me? Thank you. Um, can you keep both of your toes this, uh, together? Okay. Making sure they they both malleolus and both toes are together. Keep your arms at the side and close your eyes. I won't let you fall. Okay. You have to assure them. Otherwise, they will be very. Okay. How long do you look for? At least 15 to 20 seconds. Now, normally, okay, the person is just swaying this much. This is not normal. When this, this thing, when it generally deviates, or person generally, you know, step aside, okay, that means it's losing balance. Whenever your dorsal column is affected, you get sensory ataxia. Especially people will have difficulty walking at night or night stumbling. We call okay. Uh, they will be very careful, you know, when they yes, walk because they cannot feel ground. Okay, you can have a seat. So this was our sensory examinations.